Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be sharing with you a review on our Kiko hook-on chair. So I have it right here and I'm going to be talking to you today about why I love it but why we are going to be getting something new. So really I have just one dislike of it and everything else I pretty much love about it. So I'm going to be sharing that with you today. This is an introduction. My name is Darlin. I'm a mother of one and me and my husband have, a chan have our channel here on YouTube just sharing parenthood and lifestyle and things like that. Things that work for us as parents. Ways that we really help our son to learn and grow and things like that and we as, as I said we're first-time parents so we're really just learning these things as we go to so um, we're just trying to share our experience and hopefully help others in their journeys as well so thank you for joining us today and we will get on with the video First of all, here is the chair. Let me show it for, to you guys. So this is it. Love it. It is great. I'll show you the space. So this is it. And as you can see, it saves up so much space. So even like Joan is able to climb underneath there. It doesn't take up, I mean, it takes up less space, I would think, than, a, than an actual chair would. And then it hooks on. This is like a, something that loosens. It can tighten with this little tab that comes out. And then it hooks on with these like bars underneath. It hooks onto the chair and like attaches itself to the, or hooks onto the table and attaches itself to the table. So very convenient. See, as you can see, it's, I don't know if you can really see it. It's dirty here. Um, very convenient. We love it and saves a ton of space. So that is really like the main reason that we got it. My sister-in-law had recommended it to us because we have a small, pretty small apartment. And so we were looking for ways that we could have a high chair that we would love that would also not take up the entire dining room. And so we got this one, which I love for that. It doesn't take, as you saw, it doesn't take up really like any room in our apartment. Um, where, where we do have to move a dining chair that's usually here into our bedroom. But that one's, it's, I mean, it's fine being there. Um, and so it, it's, that's like my, my number one thing that I love about this is that it saves a space. Number two that I love is that it pulls up right to the table. So I know some high chairs, they have trays that come with it and it like doesn't necessarily line up with the table. And so I love that we're able to sit here. Like Joan is able to sit at the table and eat with us. So that's like, I mean, it's helpful that we're able to like give him food as he's eating and just like have him be with us. But it's also just nice that we get to eat together. I know that some some high chairs don't really necessarily, I mean, you could have it like next to the table, but I love that he's like physically able to eat with us at the table. I think that's so nice. And I love that about this chair. So that's actually something that I'm going to be looking for with our next high chair is that it will be able to pull up right to the table and he'll be able to eat from the table with us. Number three thing that I love, I love that it has a detachable tray. So let me actually show you guys the tray. So this is the tray that it comes with and it's so easy. It just really just snaps on. Let me show you guys. It just snaps on and it covers. There's like a, um, there is a gap right here on the table. So this is the chair itself and then this is the table and there's a gap here. So sometimes like if this tray isn't on there, food can slide through. But thankfully the tray is designed well enough that it will snap on and it covers that gap. So I love that it has that detachable tray because sometimes it's really like a silly reason, I guess. But sometimes Esther and I will be playing board games and we'll use this like space for different things. Um, so I like that it has that, but it's also like I can clean it underneath it and things like that too. So that makes it convenient. La 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 Hey, hey you. Yes you. Are you subscribed to our channel? Make sure you subscribe. Subscribe now. Number four is that it's portable. So I haven't really used it too much for this purpose. I was able to bring it to his birthday party that we had and I attempted to hook it up to the table that was there, but it didn't fit. So it's supposed to fit with like most tables, but it didn't fit with that park table for some reason. I just like didn't configure well to it, but this is very sturdy and it's pretty easy to put on. So it doesn't like take a lot of like finagling or anything like that. I love that about that it's portable. If we wanted to go on a trip, we, were, we would easily be able to bring this with us, especially 
if we're driving and he would have a high chair wherever we went. So I might actually use it for that once we get a new high chair. I'll know that wherever we go, we'll be able to have a high chair. The last thing that I like is that it has a removable cover. So this cover right here comes off and I cleaned it just for you guys or it's very easy to take off. Okay, so I'll say it's very easy to take off and like I just throw it in the washer. At the beginning when Jonah first started eating, I was trying not to wash it all the time, like in the washer. And so I would bring it into the bathroom and I would scrub it with like a brush that I had gotten. It was working out for a while, but then I decided to start using the washer instead because I just felt like it did a better job. Um, and so that's what we've been doing. That leads me to my next thing is that I just don't like cleaning it all the time. I don't like that it's fabric. So it's like I have to, like in the mornings, he'll have yogurt for breakfast and he gets yogurt all over this. And so it like discourages me from giving him certain foods because I don't want to have to clean it up afterwards. And so that, so it like the food gets on here, I wash it. And this is a prime example because this happened last night to me. So I washed it last night and then before going to bed, I forgot this in the washer and I don't put it in the dryer to dry it. I, I hang dry it. And so I, I put it on the chair this morning and then he didn't have this cover last night or this morning for breakfast for, so or for lunch today actually. And so there's um, there's like a soft material underneath. I can show it to you guys too. There's a soft material underneath, which is like great, but it gets dirty so easily because I, 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 cause I don't, I'm not able to clean it. I do try to clean it. Um, but it gets dirty and then I can't, there's no way for me to clean that part because it's material underneath too. And I can't, I don't know, I just can't clean it. I mean, I guess I could take it into the bathroom, but I'm not gonna do that every time. So that is really, really a drawback for us is that it's just so hard to clean. That is seriously the only thing that I don't like about this. I've been on like mom groups and I've posted about this, like asked like, does anybody have any solutions to this? Because I seriously love this high chair and I would love to keep it or just like continue using it, but it's just like way too much of a pain for me to clean. Those are some of the reasons why we love this high chair, but we will be getting a new one. So um, if you guys have any suggestions, I'm pretty sure we're going to get the Ikea, um, the Ikea, I think it's called Antelope high chair. It's like $20. So we're gonna try and get that one. I'm really excited because I've heard great things about that one. I know that people just love it. And so it's pretty simple and it's like plastic. So that that's my thing is that I wish that it was exactly like this, just plastic all over or whatever material that I could just wipe down easily at the end of the day instead of having to wash it all the time. And then also, this is another part, um, these straps. So Jonah will put these in his mouth and they strap him in, which of course, like that's great. Um, but they also get super dirty and it's like really, really difficult to clean because they're just like a strap material. I like brush them. I like have a brush that I clean them with, but it's still really difficult to clean. Um, I clean them today and there's, I feel like they're still dirty. Um, and I know we have a friend that has like a, they have like a rubber or like a plastic type of material to these straps. And I, I think that's genius. I don't know if the Ikea one has straps like that, but hopefully that's something that we'll be able to that we'll be able to get soon because I'm, I'm really excited about having a high chair that's easier to clean. So thank you guys for watching our video today. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that it was helpful and that it kind of gave you some insight into what our high chair experience has been like with this Kiko hook on chair. It's great again, we love it, but we will be getting a new high chair and I hope that you guys found this helpful. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you have any high chair recommendations, anything like what I'm talking about, like that's like this except plastic, please let us know. We would love to hear about it. Thank you for watching our video today. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and we'll see you next time. Bye.